This is Pastor Henry Crankston. How are y'all doing tonight? Okay. Are you awake? Yeah. All right, fantastic. Our church is so small. How small is it? Pretty good. <laughs> Our church is so small that the choir outnumbers the congregation when both singers show up. <laughs> Last week, we buried a very famous person. You buried a very famous person? That's right. Y'all might have heard of him. He wrote the hokey pokey. Oh. Had a hard time getting him in the casket, though. Put his left leg in. He put his left leg out. We put it. All right, all right, all right. You're just making stuff up now. Well, we ain't got a barrel of money. Made the ragged and funny, but we travel along singing a song side by side. Hey, fella, I got a question for you. Yes. What do you call two ducks and a cow? I don't know. What do you call two ducks and a cow? Crackers and milk, dude. <laughs> Crackers and milk. <laughs> I kill me. Oh, come on, Douglas. That's the corniest joke I've ever heard. Just forget it. Your jokes are terrible. They're worse than your singing. I cannot believe she said that. I've been working on my singing all the live long day. I've been working on my singing, getting better in many ways. I can kind of hit the High notes and high vibrato, it's the best. That's all I got. Well, what is your name? My name, dear lady, is Olivia the Possum. Olivia the Possum, that's a beautiful name. Olivia the Possum. Olivia the Possum. It is a beautiful name. There are only two things in this life that are certain. What's that? Death and taxidermy. <laughs> death and taxidermy, it's death and taxes. You say tomato, I say tomato. <laughs> when I go, I would love to be run over by a fire engine. Give me that old fire engine, give me that old fire engine, give me that old fire engine. It's good enough. <laughs> Olivia! Well, how long have you been a widow? Well, let's see. I guess since my husband died. That's not what I meant. What did your husband do? Well, he did something like this. <laughs> no, I mean, what did your husband do for a living? I'm just having fun with you, dear. Don't you know a joke when you hear one? I guess not. What did your husband do for a living? Well, my husband, Edward, God rest his soul, he was a plastic surgeon. Fantastic, he was a plastic surgeon. Didn't do me any good. I'm made out of fabric. Well, that fella right there, he's been staring at me other since I got up here. He's, he's looking at you because you're the entertainer. No, I heard him tell his wife that he thought I was a real doll. <laughs> okay, that's corny. Is he good looking? Yeah, he's kind of good looking. It's hard for me to tell because my eyes are plastic. <laughs> okay. Kings and kingdoms will all pass away. There's just something about that name. I didn't just like it, I loved it. Margaret was wonderful. I thoroughly enjoyed the duck and Mildred. Thank you for coming, Margaret. You were special. This was an absolutely fabulous show. It's far better than I could even anticipate. Uh, she's program's good for any age for people. We have uh, seniors here, and I saw lots of smiles tonight. It was very entertaining, and I would suggest her for anybody any age. Fabulous. 
Well, at, here at the Renaissance, you know, we look forward to great talent. We look forward to people that just come in and love seniors. When I heard about Margaret, I wanted to give her a try. I am so glad. I recommend her to any community, any church group. This is a person that knows what she wants. She loves what she does, and I'm going to have her back.